Here's your KDLT Sports. Welcome back. The Storm hosted the IFL Championship last night against the Tri-Cities Fever. Storm looking for their second consecutive title and to continue their dynasty. And it was allowed last night in the Storm Shelter as the game got underway. First quarter opening drive, Chris Dixon throws over the middle and it's picked off by Lionel Singleton who returns it all the way back, dodging some tackles, bouncing off defenders. Then he'll sprint, taking the pick back for six, seven, nothing, fever up early. But check this out, very next drive for the Storm. That was just the calm before the Storm because here they come. Dixon launches one to Carl Sims down the left field sideline. Fantastic toss and grab. Sets up this, very, uh, third down now. Dixon fakes his sweep left, takes it in, dances into the end zone. 7-7 seven, seven, all in the first quarter. Still in the first, Houston Lillard will hand it off to number four, who then pulls out the halfback pass, passes it to Giovanni Stanley, touchdown fever, 14-7 Tri-Cities, right before half, Dixon looks right, looks left, finds Carl Sims again, they lead at half, 22-20. Then in the third, the storm is just a roll, and Dixon finds James Terry for one of his three touchdowns on the day, Storm up 29-23, and they wouldn't look back. Check out this next play. Missed field goal by the Fever. Williams picks it up. He will return this one untouched as he jukes out the last defender. Storm can feel it as they win the IFL championship. They outscore the Fever in the third, 23-3, and the coach says that was commendable to the defense. Yeah, easily it was our defense. I, I mean, I think every championship game except one against Lexington, uh, our defense has carried us through the championship game. And every time against Tri-Cities, when they come to our place, they struggle with our end zones and they struggle with our D-line getting after them. And that was definitely the case tonight. Jeremiah Price was named the Unitable MVP after recording six tackles, including two sacks and two safeties. The final storm roll over the fever, 59-32 for their second consecutive title. The South Dakota State softball tournament wrapped up today at Sherman Park, and it was a hot one out there in the 14 and under bracket. It was the South Dakota Flash taking on the Brookings Outlaw. A little wave at the camera from the Outlaws. No score, top of two flashes. Pitcher Jaden Bumgarner blows one by Carl McDougal. This one, you can tell, was going to be a nail biter from the beginning. Then in the bottom of the second, it was mental errors by the Flash that kept them from that, uh, them scoreless, excuse me. Amy Sebesta tries for third after the pitcher has already walked the batter. Then in the third, runner on first. They get a hit up the middle by Taylor Helen. Tries uh, for third, but is tagged out and easily. Mental errors will be just the destruction of the team if they keep this going. Then in the fifth, Bumgarner keeps her team close. Line drive up the middle. She catches it to end the inning. Then in the seventh, runners on second and third for the Outlaws. A deep fly ball hit the center field. It's enough to score the runner from third as she tags up and scores, and that will be the difference in this game. Then they'll have to play a second one. Outlaws win one nothing, but then they'd have to play a second one. South Dakota Flash win that one three to one. They take first place, and then the South Dakota Fusion White in the 16 and under win five two diamonds over the diamonds. Fusion White take first place as well. Well, the South Dakota Golf Championships continue today with the women playing over at Hillcrest. Uh, Coluccio versus Murrah wins four and three. Johnson versus Murphy, uh, three and two. Coluccio and Va Johnson play in the finals. Then in the men's match quarterfinals today, Brandon Sigmund wins in 19 holes. Check out that last one. Number nine, Mike Brummer was one up. He knocks out number one, Cody Vostad. And then tomorrow, or later tonight, Ben Erbach will face Brandon Sigmund. Number nine, Mike Brummer will face Brandon Sigmund. And that's where we are, and that's about a look at sports. We'll be right back. <laughs>